What's up, guys? Let's go. So listen, today's episode is gonna be pretty quick. I just wanna take a minute and share my admiration for one of my new favorite decks. They're finally here, the Black Roses Hotel and Casino V3. I'm so excited to get into these, but before we do that, why don't you go ahead and drop a like on the video. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet, okay? Because, well, that one's important. Like I said, this is gonna be quick, not gonna be a full review, but let's roll the intro and crack these open. Okay, now full transparency, I opened a deck of these like five days ago. I've been using them all week. I absolutely love them. But for today, I'm gonna crack open a brand new one for you guys. Oh, I hope you are excited. Look at that. Easy cellophane, thanks to Hanson Chien. And these cards were printed in Taiwan with Hanson Chien. So outside the US, I absolutely love the paper stock. I think you guys will too. But first, let's talk a little bit about the design. The tuck box is done in matte paper in this kind of mix of baby blue and mint green. It's kind of like a Tiffany blue color. It's also got foiling for the roses and the border. So you can see very luxurious looking deck. Now this has an off center border, which is intentional. It's meant to remind you of kind of an old vintage casino, similar to like, think like the Jerry's Nuggets. Those had an off centered seal. Uh, and so for this, it's just meant to kind of emulate that. Now these ones of course are the hotel version, but there's always two versions. And this year we also have a gold version. The gold ones are limited to like 1000 and I only have two of those. So I'll show them to you, but uh, I kind of want to leave one of them sealed because it's three out of a thousand and three is my favorite number. So it might be the only deck that I have that's too sacred to open. But for these, let's crack them open here. Now inside the tuck box, this is new. You get kind of a mirror on the inside, a nice foil shiner there. That's really cool. You could probably use that for card effects, you know, like use it to read what the card, you could definitely do that. Now this deck is very well designed, but you have seen the design before. It is the Black Roses Hotel and Casino design. The only difference is that it is on this very beautiful Tiffany blue uh, with the foiling, which really, really elevates the deck from being just kind of a standard casino looking deck to really being something luxurious. And that is also accented by how freaking good the paper stock feels. I believe these are Hanson Chien's softest cards uh, available. So very, very uh, thin stock. It's nice and flexible, but also very springy. In terms of comparison, I would say that these cards, I mean, pick up maybe like a deck of the Isometric X cards. They kind of have the same paper stock and it's just so, or the Juggler Marble, those two, so good. You get some gaff cards to go with a uh, queen effect where the roses start to vanish. So you have like a regular queen of hearts. It's got two roses on the back and then you can do a color change where it's only one and then where there's none. Very cool. Nice and simple Ace of Spades, just like the previous Black Roses decks. Hey, who's this handsome guy, huh? Look at that guy. <laughs> That's not why I love this deck. All right, so those are the blue ones, the main version. I absolutely love them. Like I said, I've been using the same deck for like five days, just really breaking them in, breaking them down, uh, and I'm loving them. Definitely would like to print a deck with Hanson Chien on paper like this. And the gold ones have gold metallic ink. No foiling for these ones, just gold metallic on the same paper stock as the other ones, that Hanson Chien uh, with that, I think it's linen finish, and uh, this handsome devil as the king of clubs. Now, I think fulfillment for this Kickstarter is wrapping up, which means hopefully soon these decks will be going to retail, uh, and that means that you guys can get your hands on them if you didn't get a chance to back the Kickstarter. I would highly recommend it. I like the paper stock. I love the design. If you guys are fans of minimalistic cards with kind of some nice luxurious elements on great paper stock, 
have to say, this is probably the deck for you. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed. I have some other content that I want to do with this deck. I have a really cool idea, and I don't want you guys to miss it. So make sure you're subscribed. Uh, like the video if you did like it. Maybe share it with a friend who likes playing cards, or share it with somebody who hates uh, Hanson Chien paper stock, and uh, see if this video sways them. I don't fucking know. Just Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for watching this video. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now, these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring.